Um, okay. okay. Well, this need... to start there. <laughs> okay. And the reason I'm having you do it so that you can go through the process and ask your questions, then we can answer them as we go along, rather than us sharing something. And okay, tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. You can, okay, I'm gonna get it back on uh, um, the proper uh, template. Give me a second here. I'm surprised here. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> uh, let me go to my template. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, we're on. Okay, well, right now we're on the four hour. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I have everything the way it's supposed to be because I've done some uh, adjustments. So I'm sorry about that. Okay. But it'll still work, I guess. Uh, yeah, go to the one hour. Okay. And you have the one hour and daily balls. Okay, you may want to add the four hour balls to this. So just put a snatcher on it with the four hour. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't expecting. Whoops. I wasn't. Uh, okay. I gotta think faster. Okay. Um, this one by about four. So 20, 52, and 136. So 20. And then next one is 52. Five, two? Yeah. Okay. And 136. Hey, I'm gonna mute me because uh, my wife is working on some stuff. I don't want all that noise in the background. Well, you can mute yourself, man. Come on. 136? Yeah. Okay. And uh, on the change, four hours? Change the balls. Change the balls. Numbers. Okay. Oh, I did. No, to the bottom, the bottom three. To 143, 144, 145. Oh, wow. One forty four and four and five. Yeah. So now you said you have the daily balls on this also. Uh, look at the colors first. Go to the colors and change the yellow to aqua. Yellow to aqua. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving you my colors, but you can change them to whatever you want. To no, do. that's fine. Uh, the medium violet to red. Red. And the chocolate to magenta. <coughs> magenta, not red. The second one, yeah. Okay. okay, and uh, make it a visualization on the one hour only. All the way to right, visualization. Make it one hour only, yeah, okay. Now let's look at your daily uh, balls that you have, the daily slasher, say okay. And let's look at your daily setup, the daily ball setup. Okay, I'm not sure what you want me to do. Go to your indicator list. Okay. And let's find the snatcher that's set up for the daily on the one hour. Uh, no, this is not, that's the first one, that's okay. Uh, yeah, and go down. That's the one we just added. Okay, that's not that, uh, oh, you don't have the daily balls. Okay, so you have to add, add another snatcher to, put, to this. 
So cancel. Oh, okay. that out. No. Yeah. Delete this? No, no, leave it. Leave it, okay. Close it. And then add another snatcher. Okay. Okay. And also on one, one hour only. Okay, colors, uh, we can change them later. What? Yeah, I mean, chocolate is fine. Medium violet is fine. Uh, change the yellow to a green. Black like green. green. Yeah, what doesn't matter. This different color. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, yeah, multiply this by 24. So 120. And then 240 plus 72, 312. 312 mm -hmm. and 816. 816, yeah. And uh, you can change the last three numbers to 146, 147, 148. Shouldn't matter. But actually, uh, you want them to be an arrow. The arrow, please, the arrow. Give me a second. I'm looking at mine. Uh, 234, 234, 234. 234? Yeah, make them all three, 234. Okay. And that just changes to an arrow rather than a ball. Got it. Okay. Go? Yeah. Uh, looks, let's look at your 15 minute. And uh, you don't don't have the four hour balls on this, right? I don't know. I, yeah, I'm a little lost. Okay, take the, uh, take the thingy off from the top. Uh, go to the top, uh, your menu items, basically. Go to your menu items. No, no, no. No indicator list. I want you to be able to scroll. So take the, take the thingy off of the scroll. Uh, left, yeah, that one. No, no, not that, that one. Uh, click the other one. Yeah. Yeah. No, click on it. That's the right one. Yeah. Okay. Now scroll to your right, your charts. Like that? Okay. Yeah, you have, you only have the regular balls on this, 15 minute balls on this. You don't have the four hour. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Okay. So you add, add a snatcher, snatcher to this. Sorry, I wasn't. Okay, just tell me what to do. All right, so this one reads, Times 16, so 80. 80? 80? Yeah, 80. 80. Uh, 160, 208. And that'll be 240. No, 240. Uh, three times 80 is 240. It's gonna be, uh, 30 times. 16 is 480, and then 4 times 16, 64, so 544. Okay. And then uh, make that balls, no, go back, inputs, the last three numbers. Make that uh, 143, And now go to the colors. The same thing, magenta for chocolate. Red. And apple.
Okay. All right. So if you go back to the four hour chart. Yeah, I, I don't think that's the 15 minute balls that he has on there. Yeah, he does. That's, that's the standard balls that he has on it. He has it all the way for all the time frames. We don't have it that way, but that's what he has. Oh, because I, I don't see any other balls on it. On this, no, this is a four hour. No, go back to the 15. Go back to the 15. You yeah, see I, the, I, don't, I don't see all the one balls, two balls, and three balls. Yeah, okay. Scroll, scroll to your right. Uh, shift to chart, yeah. Ah, what happened? All right, go to your indicator list. So I wonder if he has a, a one hour go to the first one. or well, four hours. Go to the first one. snatcher. Uh, go to your visualization, please. Ah, this is no okay. So uh, it's not all time frames. That's just M one. M one. Yeah, that's the fifteen minute balls on the one minute. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's why you won't see the balls there. Uh. It's going to make it tricky. Actually, go go to the go back. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Go back. Go back to your indicator list. And go to that first snatcher. The first one. Now, go, do you have any more snatchers on top? I think okay. it deleted that. That's why you didn't, you didn't see it. Go ahead, go ahead and edit, edit that. And have it on uh, not all time frames, but every time frame except M1 and M5. Every time frame, but what? Except M1 and M5, but on every other time frame. So 15, 30, H1, and daily. That's all we need. Or you can do on, weekly on, on also. Weekly. Yeah, weekly and monthly, that's right. Weekly also. Now go back to your inputs and change that to 5, 13, and 34 at the top. Okay, say okay. And close, and then you have we have to add another snatcher. So yeah, go to yours. Yeah. Now we're going to add the four-hour balls on the fifteen minutes. So that's eighty. Three one two. And five forty-four. And then we're going to change the bottom three to 143, 144, 145. Okay. And the colors. Uh, yeah, magenta, right? Red and aqua. And visualization 15 minute only. I repeat that, please. 15 minute only, only on the 15 minute. There you go. Okay, so uh, can you squish your, your chart, compress it? Uh, okay. Uh, actually go to your four hour chart and draw a line and then come back to the 15. Okay, where that yellow ball is, let's draw a vertical through that. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then go back to the 15th. And go to the end of the chart. Yeah. So there's your six ball. Okay. That's your four hour ball. Okay. Got it. Good. Yes, sir. Okay. If you look at the one hour also, you should have a six ball. Right there. Okay. Good. So we are set with our settings. All right. <laughs> uh, you can take that vertical line off. And this is the USD CAD. Okay. Is this the pair you want to look at for analysis or you want to look at another pair? Uh, yesterday we had a nice move on the Euro Aussie. Okay. Uh, you know, zoom, zoom in on your chart, the plus sign. Yeah, there you go. Okay. What do you want to do? Uh, you want to go from the, the, daily, the daily ball you're on the one of four hour. Go to the four hour, sorry. You want to go from the yellow ball or you want to go from the blue ball? Where do you want to start your analysis? Uh, it's up to you. No, no, it's your show. Um, oh, this red arrow, is that, uh, what is that? That's the MACD. Don't worry about the arrows. Okay, okay. So here's an eight ball. Okay. Or is that an eight, what is that? That's a three ball. Three on ball. the four hour, and it's a weekly one ball. Okay. So you yeah, actually yeah. have have the weekly and the and the four hour on this chart. Okay. Yeah. yeah the, hey, hey, um, Ken, the, yeah. the arrows, the arrows are just a change of color. Of the, okay, of the, I get it. Yeah, I the, see. Uh, every yeah. time it changes color, you get arrow. Just, yeah. just for visualization. Yeah. Okay, so we can start from the yellow ball and, and, and go down the list, right? So draw a vertical line on the yellow ball. Okay, now what do we see here? Let's just look at it. Make the lines smile thinner, please. This is too thick right now. What now? Make it thinner, thinner. the thickness. and make it dashed or something so we can see through it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so at this point, we got a three ball, but what else do we see with this three ball? I mean, you don't have the H10 on this, but let's say now uh, you have the H8. But, okay, so we have a three ball with a red H8. What does that tell you? Well, sure isn't going up. <laughs> it's a high, uh, a high for the week, I guess. In the high of the week, not bad. Just looking at the chart, does it give you a direction? Yeah, down. Okay. Uh, why? Because H eight is red, or what is the reasoning behind it going down? Well, I'm looking at the one week and uh, the D2 and the, you're not, and the H8 mm -hmm. are all red. Okay. But your candlestick is blue. Does that give you pause to, I mean, uh, uh, does it no, give you any pause? Well, I look at it as a heads up. I sure wouldn't buy here just because it's blue. Okay. What do you say? Basically, well, not right away, but it's a top, what I'm looking at. Yeah, but you don't know it's a top, right? That's true. But unlikely because of the red uh, weekly and D2. Okay. I mean, generally, we are looking at the H8 or H10 to see which direction. Because okay. that's going to give us the direction for the next 8 to 10 hours, right? Okay, yeah. So the, each of those bars is 8 or 10 hours. Right? Okay. On the Osma. Yeah. So if you have a red bar, the 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 possibility of ne the next bar uh, being red on the Osma is higher than it'd be turning blue, right? Yeah. So you, you're playing a probability game here. So you're expecting the price to go lower at this point. 
Yes. That's basically what's flashing through your mind. Now, the H4 is not ready to sell, but can we go down to a lower time frame and see if that is ready to sell? Sure. Where would we go? I go to the one and the 15. Okay, let's go to the one. And move it over to where the ball, yeah, three ball is, six ball is, right there, right there. Okay, so you got an H8, that's red. What else do you see here? Well, I got red on the D2 and... Well, we don't, don't worry about the D2 and the W1. Okay. Your H3 is blue. Well, the, okay. Well, the H3 and the H8 are, are red. No, H3 is not red where your line is. It's not? Oh, okay. Right. Yes. Yeah, you're right. But it is going towards a zero line. Yeah. So the next thing to see, you're basically trying to find a time frame where you can take a short. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So go to the 15. You may want to anchor that point, otherwise you keep scrolling. At the bottom, you know, you may want to move your anchor. Oh, what did I do? I lost my place. That's what I'm saying. Go to, go to, yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Now put it on the six, six ball again. Now, what do you see? Now you have all your Osmas here. Are they lined up? Uh, everything but the H1. Everything but the H1, right? Yeah. Okay. Make it so that the vertical line is on that little arrow at the bottom. Now, okay. don't move the line. Just move your chart. Well. Uh, if you can't do it, just slide the arrow over. Yeah. Okay. Now, move it down to the five. Move it over to the ball again. Is everything lined up? No. Not yet. Okay. Is it on the one minute? Right. Go to the one minute. No, it gets lined up there. Well, next one. Next saddle on the on the M5. Right there. That's because uh, H3 and H1 were probably fluctuating. Uh -huh. This is where they got set. Okay, now if that's your entry, where's your stop loss? Remember, you're, you're taking a higher time frame here. For, so yeah, on, at the top of the, of the ball, how many pips is that? About eight. Eight pips, okay, so draw your horizontal lines for your entry and your stop loss. This will answer part of your question about your entry on the one minute. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Uh, hold Don't on. worry. Don't cancel it. Yeah. Now, we are taking a four hour direction with a one minute entry, but we're going to follow the trade two ways. One is on the 15 minute chart, which is the intraday, right? Uh -huh. And one is on the four hour chart if it ever gets ready, that'll be the long term. Understand? One hour never never gets ready, but it's still blue, right? I mean, uh -huh. Even though everything's lined up, but the candlestick is not ready. So you don't uh -huh. want to take this. So you go to the 15, you have your entry. How would you proceed with this trade? Uh, well, I'd go down smaller time frames. No, no, you already taken your entry. Oh, okay. So I'm in the trade. Okay. Yeah, how, do you, how, how are you going to manage your trade? Well, I need to manage on the five or the 15. You, well, you're managing it on the 15. It's a four hour trade. You're managing on the 15, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, and you took a one minute entry to, to have a minimum stop loss. You, you minimize the risk. Right. But after that, you have to manage your trade to maximum profit or whatever your trading style is. Well, I'd, uh, 
right here, the eight ball. The three ball? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the three ball. Well, maybe right. the three ball was where the two ball is. Yeah, that's true. On the left. Yeah, it was here at one time. Yeah. Well, you get, do you do you ever move your stop loss, or you just let it be where it is? Uh, if I'm up fifteen, I'll go to break even. That's about it. I'll okay. Learn. So I'll, how 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 much is it from the top blue ball to your entry? Well, it's about eight pips. No, no, to your entry, uh, to the top blue ball. Sorry, the uh, the one ball, and the in the European session, the top one. Oh, here. Yeah. About, yeah, it's about 13 pips. So, okay. So, so, so once it didn't it take you up? No. Okay, so move your stop loss to the top of that ball, right? That's what you're saying. Stop loss, not the entry. Stop oh. loss. To the top of the ball. Now, when would you do that? Uh, when it broke structure. When did it break structure? Uh, right here. No. No? No. Oh, well, I'm a little lost. You tell me. Yeah, right at the bottom of that European session. That's the structure that it broke that it, when you move it. Okay. If you draw a rectangle from between the two uh, uh, one one balls, right? Draw, draw a rectangle. Do you have a rectangle up there? Yeah. Draw a rectangle. I don't understand. Draw, draw, draw a box between the one ball, the two one balls in the London session. Oh, a rectangle. Okay. Sorry, engineering term. Here. Yeah, that's it. This is your price structure that has to break. In between, the market makers can go up and down, up and down, up and down, try to take people out, collect contracts, whatever. The reason that this is the, the price structure is that it, it, it went from the bottom to the top without hesitating. No, no. From, the, from the first one ball to the second one ball. Here to here. Correct. So when it broke this, no, no, one ball. I'm trying to explain price structure to you. Go ahead. The reason that we are looking for this structure to break, that we are calling this a structure and not the, the third ball structure, is because the price price has to be broken for the top or the or bottom of, uh, of, uh, of an action that has, that has gone unbroken, basically. Okay? The balls are telling us where the turnaround points are, right? Okay. In, be in between that one ball and the other one ball, there is no break in uh, price action, right? It went straight up. Yeah. That means there was momentum going up and then they started to bring it down, right? Yeah. Did it go all the way to the bottom right away? It didn't go because you have a one ball, another one ball in between, and then another one ball, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is where they, they slice and dice you. Yeah, right in here. Correct. Yeah. People are moving the stops, moving the stops, moving the stops, and then get sliced, and then they spike it down and break structure. That's how they take your money. That's yeah. how they take their money. You make a little bit of money. They let you say, okay, we'll let you keep 10 bucks, but you know, not the thousand of bucks you would have made. Yeah. So that's your structure. Once that breaks, your stop loss is actually above the, the fourth blue ball fourth one ball, right above that, yeah. The structure is broken, right? Yeah, yeah. So move your uh, stop loss down to that. I, we, we talked about this on our video last time, this one going over it again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now do you get any other structural formations between that one ball and the two ball at the bottom? No, the one on the left, at the bottom of the USA. The bottom of the USA, okay. 
there. Yeah. yeah. No, it has. They took it straight real. down to that, and yeah. then then went sideways. Yeah. The three ball was formed right there, where your two ball is, where your arrow is right now. Where you, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Now is your decision point. Where do you want to get out, or do you want to get out? Because the three uh -huh. ball is still active, right? Your uh -huh. H8 and H3 are still in alignment, right? That's basically what you're looking for to get out or not get out, right? At the bottom mm -hmm. of the osmos. Your first thing to get out is when the H3 turns blue, right? No, that won't be where it turns blue. It'll, be, it'll turn blue way later than that. Oh, okay. That's a historically showing where it turned blue, but really, it took about eight eight bars before it turned. Oh, okay. And that's basically two hours of action. Now, if personally, I'm seeing two hours of sideways action. I'm getting out. I'm not. I'm too impatient to stay in. Yeah. I mean, I can see the that the the A three is fluctuating between blue and red, blue and red, blue and red, all through that sideways motion. Right. Yeah. So I have to make a decision at that point where to get out. And I would get out when the price gets closest to that three ball, anywhere in that sideways motion. Right there. Well, at the, at the low of that bars, but yes, somewhere in there. How many pips did he make from there to the entry? About uh, 90 pips. Yeah. 89.90, yeah. Okay, so that's basically the process of taking a trade, okay? You're analyzing on the four hour. You're looking at the location of the ball, in this case, the three ball, and the color of your H8, okay? That's your first step. Okay. If the, if the ball is at the top and H8 is still blue, there's a possibility of it continuing to the further up. That three ball is not static at that point. Uh -huh. Okay. When, if you move your vertical line back to the three ball on the four hour. One more bar. This three ball was traveling up and then it turned red on this four hour bar. Okay, what happened here? Zoom uh, in, please. Another one. <laughs> Sorry, zoom out. Yeah. What happened here? I mean, you got a slow, a slow in momentum, and then all of a sudden it took your high out. Why? Uh, you got me. Look at your H3. Look, yeah, look at the H3. Yeah. Still H3 blue. is still blue. So short term, the market maker is taking stops out. Oh, okay. This is why it's important to look at two Osmas, not just the one, right? Yeah. And you're looking for, even if you went to the uh, 15 minute chart on, the, on that, if you drop it down to the 15, you'll see all blue on the 15. That means your H4 candles are reflected on the 15 minute chart, they're all blue. Go to the 15, sorry. Right? Your H3 <coughs> and H8 are probably flipping between blue and red, blue and red, blue and red with sideways motion. Uh -huh. Okay? Your, your six ball was probably uh, to, your, to your left or to your, yeah where the two ball is. No, all the way to the left, where the two ball is. All the way to the left. The top of the Asian session? Yeah, oh. right there. That's where your three ball was, right? Okay. But your candlestick is still blue. This is where the importance of candlesticks come, right? Yeah. Where your vertical line is, your AC and H8 are red. It's not in alignment, but the AC and H8 are saying that it's going short, 
right? If you move your cursor over to where your vertical line is. Vertical line is yellow line. Yeah, you, you see the A, I mean, this is the beginning of the H8 turning. It's not where the H8 actually turned. This is where it started to flip between blue and red, blue and red, blue and red. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Slide but your candlesticks are still blue, which means the momentum on the four hour chart is still a long, it's still trying to go long. Uh -huh. It hasn't turned over yet. Right. Then that last two ball gets taken out by this two ball at the top of the Asian session. Move your cursor to the two ball to the right. No, two ball. Two, no, to the two ball. Keep going. Keep going. On the top of the Asian session. Right there. Okay. What happens here? Your H3 turns blue again. So it took out the stops. Market maker said, eh, gotcha. And then they started to go down, down again. H3, everything got aligned on, on a couple of bars now. No, no. After the two ball, for a couple of bars. Right there. Everything got aligned. Right? Yeah. So if you're not looking at the candlestick, you're going, it's all aligned to go short. I'm going to take a short. And then what did, we, what did they do? They go short for a little while and then spike you out. Take more money. Yeah. All because the candlesticks were still blue. Okay. Okay. So the alignment has to be not only on the Osma, it has to be on the candlesticks also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you go to the six ball and everything's not lined up, but the next part, everything's lined up right there. Not only are all the Osmas lined up, but you have a red candlestick. This is yeah. your entry. Yeah. This is where we took our entry. <sighs> that's the safe entry. Doesn't mean that you know they won't play games with you. But that's the safest entry. So let me ask you. Uh, I don't mean to sound redundant. This six ball here. It. It's a four-hour is... ball. It's a four hour three ball. Yeah. I, I just changed the number so that I know it's a higher time frame. Four ball, four, yeah. four hour. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's good. That's okay. just my way of doing it. Uh, Santiago no, just has a black ball. Okay. It's a good way. Yeah. Uh, and if it's two, two of them, then uh, my third ball is, is a, well, I have an arrow. Yes, sir. So we're on the 15 minute and then it's a six ball. That tells me it's a three ball on the four hour. Four hour. Yeah. Right. Very good. Very if, good. If you go to the uh, one hour, I'll show you something. And you scroll, scroll your chart. Scroll your chart. Keep Which going. Way? Uh, no. Actually, go to your daily. Let's find. Uh, okay, that three wall there at the bottom. Yeah. Do a vertical line through that. Now drop it to the one hour. Uh, it's not showing the arrow. I don't know why. But there should have been an arrow on top of that six ball. And that was shown that your, uh, your daily and your four hour in sync at that point. I'm not sure why it's not showing there. Maybe it's the sequence of things that you have. Yeah. Uh, right, but it, when the four hour and the daily line up at the same time, you'll see a six ball with a green arrow. Okay. okay. Uh, and, and that gives you that, you know, okay, the true momentum is to the long side on the one hour. And then you can take it down to whatever time frame you want to take your entry. Yeah. Right. And then you can go from what I generally do is go from the six ball to the three ball. That's my trick. Then I wait for it to drop and I go from three ball to three ball and just keep going three ball to three ball till I get a six ball at the top. 
Okay. That's the counter trend trade, right? Okay. But if you go from that three ball on the right side to the next three ball on the top side, that's your momentum trade. Okay. Because yeah. your daily and your four hour are basically telling you to go long. And you don't have a four hour or a daily telling you that the momentum has changed on that time frame. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? To some degree, I'll have to watch this video. So what, what's the question? I mean, we are, we are here to the answer. The question is I'm not an engineer and I'm not nearly as smart as both of you. But well, it's not, not engineering, it's, it's uh, multiple time frame matching, right? Yeah, I know that. What I'm getting to is I'm not quite as intelligent as both of you guys. I'm not demeaning myself. I'm being honest. Okay. And that's what I meant. I'll have to watch the video until it sinks into my pea brain. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what, what Santiago and I discussed, I think we discussed this on Thursday to put the. See, what's going on with me, I don't disagree with what you're doing. You're obviously. You both obviously know what you're doing. I'm not questioning anything that you're teaching. I'm just having I'm having a hard time understanding all these balls and all the time frames. I don't really I have a hard time with all these indicators. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a simple minded, maybe not very intelligent, but I'm a simple minded kind of guy where I'm happy with the AO on the 15 minute. And then I'll look at the one hour direction and the four hour direction. And if I have an AO impulsive on the 15 minute and I have the direction on the four hour and the one hour, I don't have to deal with all this. Although I still use the balls, uh, the regular settings on the four hour and the one hour. And well, it's, it's easier for me. Now I know again, um, uh, it's just simpler, you know, but I'm not okay. saying, you know. Do, uh, put, do me a favor, put in an AO on this chart. Well, it's similar to the problem. No, no. Just, okay. just put, just put okay. an AO on this chart. It's just an oscillator. Uh, no, hey, I, I, I think what he's getting confused in is with all the balls. He, yeah. I, I think he uses multiple time frames. No, so I, I, I understand. And what I'm saying, the AO is based on a 34 simple moving average, OK? Yeah. The AO is going yeah. to match on here impulsive it. where the where the three balls are. Okay. Yeah. You see where the three balls are on the on the one hour. Yeah. You'll see a color change right next to it. Every three ball, you will have that. That three ball is representing your AO. Got it. That's why we don't have the AO on this chart. And I'm not suggesting you use an AO. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not, just giving you a mental yeah. picture. Yeah. When you say you're using the AO, you don't need the AO because the three balls are telling you where the AO is changing momentum. Got it. 10 4. Got it. Because the, a, the three ball is also based on 34. Okay. Okay. And it, it is a major trend change, which is what you're using for AO. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Every time you get a three ball on, on any time frame, that's your AO changing directions. Okay. Which is why we don't need the AO, right? I mean, this is much cleaner. I don't have to deal with the ups and downs of the uh, of the AO because the AO is also a lagging indicator, just like these three. But the three balls are printed right away. The AO is not. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, and look look at the uh, three ball at the top on the right side. The AO changes colors three bars later, but the balls have already given you a heads up. It's yeah, it's a better heads up. Yeah. I copy that. Now AO when it turns red is saying to go short, but our candlestick is still saying it's not ready to go short yet. Yeah. So if you scroll to your left, take your chart. No, no. Other way. Other. Sorry. Scroll to your right. Where was your vertical bar? I lost my place now. Where was your vertical line? Oh. 
right there. Well, that was where we were looking, but anyway, doesn't matter. You look at the six ball at the top and look at your AO at the bottom. Yeah, the six balls are better. And then you get a candlestick change on the next bar. Where's your AO showing? No, on, on the bar next to the six bar, six ball. Yeah, that bar. I've already made an entry. My AO is telling me not to go yet. Right, it's lagging too much. Yeah. What the reason why we have all this stuff in here is to take care of some of this lag. Yeah. Well, By the time the AO turns red, you're already like three bars and you lost five or eight tips already. Yeah, you're late in the trade, possibly. Correct. You're talking more price action with the three balls. Correct. Yeah. This is yeah. one of the reasons why on uh, FSS, the entries are almost always late. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's why Santiago did what he did. Right. Tired of the late entries. Yeah. I agree with that totally. So it's not that I, I personally, Bill Williams, I went through his course. Okay. So I was born of my trading on, on the Oscillators were, were started with Bill Williams, AO and Alligator and all that, okay? But when I looked at his charts, the, when it, the turning points happened, I had already lost 20 pips. Well, price action people that I've watched on YouTube and whatever, and yourself, but they really don't agree with Bill Williams. They're not a Bill Williams type people. They're more price action. No, no, I understand. I'm just saying that when I started to learn about oscillators. And yeah, stuff, okay. I started yeah, with the so, AO and, and the alligator and yeah, you know, yeah. all of that. So did Kurt, yeah. Yeah, I, I know, because I talked to him about that. But, but the point was that, you know, the, those indicators are good on the higher time frames. Right. Like the four hour and the daily and all. They're not good on the lower time frames. Agree, agree. So that's okay. where your three ball comes to help That's you. where the three ball comes in. Agree with you, uh, totally, you know, okay. totally. So I'm, I'm not trying to convert you, I'm just showing you the uh, the slight advantage that you get with with the way we set it up. Well, no, over, what, over the AO. you're providing a great service to us traders. I'm not in any kind of disagreement. Right. I just sometimes have a, my mind don't work quite as quick. I'm not demeaning myself, I'm just saying I still, I'm dealing with it. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I do think, use I, I do use the three balls. I use your yeah, system. I, I, I think he's he's um <clears throat> you you use multiple time frames, right? You use the four I, hour. You have a four hour chart. Uh, I look at and I, yeah, I, I I don't do any videos anymore because I don't want to come across like I'm undermining what you guys are doing because I know I have enough honesty in me to know what you guys are showing us is a true way that we, we should be trading, okay? But yes, the answer, I use the four hour, the one hour, and then the 15 minute, and I use the AO. I don't use the AO on the four hour or one hour. All I do is use the four hour on the 15 minute uh, just for eye candy, but I'm still using the three balls the regular settings uh, on the four hour, one hour, and the 15 minute. And if I want to, I'll go down to the one minute for an entry. Mm -hmm. Using uh, this, you know, the Osman chart. Right. So, yeah. so, I, so I, I, I think he's more comfortable with but not, I'm not, not, having, not, 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 not having all the balls different types of uh, time frames on all the, like on the 15 or the one hour having multiple time frame balls. Well, uh, again, it, I'm not, I'm not trying to change anything. Who am I? Who do I think I am? No, no, no. I, we, I we, really, we, I really, we, I love you guys for what you're trying to do to, for us. When I say us, meaning people in the forum, whatever you call it, but you know, you're doing this and you're using your own time and energy and and i'm really not going to go trying to show you guys how to trade i'm learning from you guys 
And you uh, all learn from each but, other, and it's not to uh, yeah, one but, street. So but, no, <laughs> no, but, 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 uh, but I don't uh, have a big ego. My head isn't that large. I don't think that. Well, I know a better way. I don't. No, no, I, it's not. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's not about knowing a better way. I'm just trying to see how 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 you comprehend the charts better. You, well, would and, you like and, to? And, I can and, show you, but again, this isn't about me. Uh, this video uh, presentation is about what you guys are trying to, like Rajiv is trying to really show us or show me uh, price structure. Correct. And I can't, <laughs> you know, I agree with it. I agree with it totally. Yeah, but not, my, my thing is that you, you're having problems with multiple balls on one chart. And you you yeah. see you you see the chart individually, so it's probably best if you just have the regular balls on each chart and just go from chart to chart. Well, doing the I, same I, thing. I, yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I do. I agree with you. Uh, right. You're right. You're right. But I'm looking at three time frames at the same time. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have to toggle. Correct. So I have a four hour, one hour, and fifteen minute. And I have the regular settings in the three ball. And on the four hour, and I'm probably getting criticized for this, but that's okay. Uh, on the four hour and the one hour, I use the Heiken Ashi with no bottom oscillators. All I have is a moving average. And but on my 15 minute, I have the three balls also and the AO. And that's where I decide, okay, which way, which direction is a four hour and one hour pointed? Which direction is it going on both? The one hour and four hour have to be in agreement. And then I look at my 15 minute and also on the 15 minute, I use your um, asthma on chart. That way I get more price action, not the high and ashy. All I'm looking for, I don't want to sound redundant. All I'm looking for is direction on the four hour, one hour, I can ask you, and uh, the moving average, uh, hull moving average, whatever. But then my entry is going to be on the 15 minute or even the one minute. And it's easier for me, my little brain, to uh, comprehend it all. But that being said, I don't make videos anymore because I don't want to undermine is really what you're teaching. You guys are teaching is real, how you're really supposed to be trading. But I have a hard time with all the three balls. That's a different time frames. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm saying it's easier for me. I'm repeating myself here. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's I mean, uh, the difference between what you, what you do and what we do, Ken, is that you monitor one pair at a time and flip through the pairs yeah whereas yeah. i can look at all nine pairs at the same time and make a decision by by, by using our setup that's the difference yeah. right yeah so uh, i can get in quicker on on certain pairs but I, I can see the setup on the on nine pairs for example uh -huh. whereas you're flipping through one two three four five six seven pairs individually to find which one is set up properly that's yeah. the difference that's I mean, you're comfortable doing that. I, I rather monitor all, all nine of my pairs at the same time. Uh -huh. So I know how they're set up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. I do. And and in I order for, for me to monitor the nine pairs, I have to put, or I don't have to, but I put all the different time frame balls on, on the one hour chart. And that gives me a good direction. Oh, as okay. To, you know, where the daily is going, where the four hours going. Yeah, and and when the one hour gets into sync with the daily and the four hour, I know I have a short momentum trade at that point. Yeah, yeah so you I, know, I, but I don't have to flip between the daily and the four hour and the one hour to find my sync. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yep. And I can look at it at a glance because I have the one hour chart up set up for the nine nine pairs, and I can see at a glance the the setup which, happening. Which pair you want to go to? Uh, no, you, you pick. I mean, so you're, you're just delete all the lines and put the, on this one and then go to whichever pair you want to go. And go where? Go to any pair you want to. Oh, okay. Um, but delete all the lines first. 
don't want to see all the. Oh. Either at the top or at the bottom. They're all at, at the top. They're all at the top. Okay. Yeah, the rectangle horizontal line. Yeah. You can highlight the one at the very top of the map. Yeah. Okay, that's it. No. Huh? You didn't get you the horizontal lines? Ah, oh, I just just click them on individually. Yeah. I gotta double click them then. Okay. So go to any pair, doesn't matter. Just random pair. Okay. Same thing again now. You put it on the six wall, the vertical line. Repeat that. Put the vertical line on the six wall on the right side. Okay, so what do you see? Uh, I'm going to just ask you a question. What do you see? Well, there's a three ball on the four hour. Um, no, it's a three ball on the weekly. Oh, oh, that's right. We're on the four hour. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. But you're right, there's, there is a three ball on the, on the four hour also. It's also a three ball on the four hour, yeah. So what do I see? Well, Let's look at your indicators and give us a, what, what, what do you think you would do? Well, I would look for a buy trade okay. because of the blue uh, H3 and H8. Okay. And probably H10. Okay. Uh, the AO, I'm going to get rid of that. It's just okay. Okay. And uh, so the H3 and H8, and probably the 10, if I had it on there, probably blue. Well, it, yeah, I mean, really on the four hour, we just we add the ball in relation to the H8 or H10 to uh -huh. give us a direction. Okay. Okay. So in this case, we have a three ball at the bottom, which means we have a bullish turn on the price. Right. And we have a blue bar on the H8, which means for the next eight hours, at least, we should be expecting the price to rise. Okay. 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 The H3 uh, in, on the H4 has no effect because it's probably on a lower time frame. If you double click on the uh, H3 to look at the settings, Is based on the one hour. So visualization. And uh, yeah, it should not be on, it should be everything below the one, uh, four hour, all the time frames below the, if you want it that way. But otherwise, the price is not represented on the four hour for the H3. Okay. So H8 is blue, your weekly is blue or yellow, blue, whatever, and the daily, everything is blue. So we have a turning point here for the price to go up. That's our our view, even the candlestick is blue, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we have a bullish uh, pattern developing here because the four hours still developing at that point. What do you do next? I uh, go down in time frames. Now, if you do that, then it's going to jump all the way. So you may want to move your anchor. Uh, one hour, right? You you go to the one hour. Okay. What do you see here?
Uh, well, more like it's a, first of all, what 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 else is introduced on this chart that wasn't on the four hour chart in the last months? Well, they're all blue. No, you got the H three now to look at, right? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. H three is blue. H eight is blue. Yeah. Daily, weekly, everything is blue. So you're getting more confirmation. Okay. Right? I mean, that's basically what's going on, right? I mean, it's four in the morning at GMT, which is means it's nine at night, Eastern Standard, which is six in the afternoon for you. Uh, so it's a good time for you to look at the charts and say, okay, uh, should I be taking an entry or not, right? I mean, you're still not, you're not asleep, you're still awake at that time. Yeah. Now you go down to the 15th. And move it over to where the six ball is, the vertical line. Yeah, and is everything lined up here? Uh, M30 is red, but... Well, M30 pretty... is red, so M15 is not your entry point. Move it down to a lower time frame. Why? And move the bar over to your six ball. What does it look like here? Not ready yet. Well, your M30 was red, so it's going to remain red, right? right? Now you're, you're basically deciding should I enter the five minute or the one minute? Oh, okay. Okay. So if you decide to enter on the five minute, where would your entry be? Well, Um, right there. Yeah. And right draw there. your horizontal and horizontal lines for your entry and your stop loss. Stop loss right here. Entry. Right in there. Okay. So four hour trade, you're managing it on the 15. Let's look at the 15 then. Well, let's say your 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 base stop loss is five pips. I know it's okay. two, it shows two pips here, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. You want to give it a little room, right? So uh, you, you play out around with large size. Two pips will give you large larger lot size than a five pip one. But that's Neither here nor there. Okay, so now you're on your 15. What are you looking for? Uh, How do you manage this trade? I'm really not sure. No, I mean, normally, how would you manage the trade? You have entered the trade. How would you manage it? Well, you, I, after profit, once it broke this two ball, mm -hmm. I go to. I'm losing my voice. After I broke this two ball would be right in here. I'd probably go to break even. Okay. And then what? And it's a free trade, so I'm looking for an exit. Okay. Um, so I'm break even right here. Mm -hmm. Just draw a line there, so you know you're break even there. Okay. Yeah. Now what? Well, since I'm at break even, it never came back. So if I did get out on a three ball, but I don't know if the three ball would have been here at one time or here at one time. Yeah, it, could be, right. it could have been at the top of the uh, European section with the two ball. Could have been here, yeah. So see, that's where I get like, what do I do here? Okay. I mean, so it you look, look on hindsight, look bottom, yeah. Go if ahead. you look at the bottom, your H3 is what color on the two ball? It's blue. Yeah. But it does start to flip till a few bars later. It went down quite a bit. Yeah. 
Are you so are, are you willing to sit through that? This well, is not individually as to how you would take your profits. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I, I would wait till that two ball retracement is done and take another entry and wait for the yellow ball. That's the so, way I would trade. So I've heard your terminology, uh, two ball retracement. So that's yes. what a two ball retracement is. Two ball to two ball. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wasn't quite sure what that meant. I'm, I'm, I'm in a uh, risk free trade at this point anyway. Right. So right. I'm, I have to, I'm getting aggressive. Okay. Okay. My aggressiveness is basically I'm, I'm looking at it and saying, oh, I got a two ball as a two ball retracement. I'm not going to lose any money on it. So I just let it, let it finish, which happened in the US session. You're That's an observer. It. Yeah. Got you. Got right. You. So yeah. if you, Draw a vertical line at the two ball at the US session, at the close of the US session, at the bottom, I should say. Vertical line. Vertical. Vertical. Sorry. Hit the wrong one. No, at the US session bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep on. All right. So now, what, what's happening here? The H3 is not in alignment. Okay. So when does it come to alignment? There. Okay. And what is my stop loss if I take that entry? Oh, I see. Well, I've moved the stop loss. No, right no, 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 no. On, on the trade that I'm going to take, put your vertical down to where my entry would be on that bar. The top vertical line. I'm not vertical, horizontal line. Sorry, jeez. Keep... The top one? Yeah. Move it down to where my entry would be. Are no. you? No, no. It would be where you where, where they came into alignment, right? Move the uh, vertical bar to where it came into alignment. There. So where would my entry be? Well, no, at the close, right? So it's a little lower right there. Where is my stop loss from there to the bottom of the previous bar? No, previous bar. Bottom, low. 20 pips, right? Yeah. But it's, that's barely within my uh, it's not even within my 15 pips, right? So we're forgetting so, about this trade you're talking no, about. No, no, I'm still in that trade. Okay, yeah. okay. So you're hey. talking about add-on? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, okay. actually, actually, you, you see the where the um, where the uh, where the market pullback. Yeah. Or at the bottom of that blue that blue candle you just got in. Okay, if, if you look over to your left, as the market was moving up from that two ball, your H3 was probably blue on the way up and it just changed back to red on the way down. So right. you probably, probably would have had an entry somewhere in between that, uh, 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 when the one hour changed color. Uh huh. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in within that bar going up, the H3 turned back blue. And it was probably where the same place where it's turned red again, back to blue. Basically, what he's saying is you can get an entry on the five minute or the one minute from that bar. See, my old bad habits, I would have entered here. No, you, you know. probably, what I'm saying is what you probably would have had an entry there. The reason it turned red again is because the price came back drastically down again. Yeah. So it was blue, then it turned right back red, then turned blue again. All right. On the so way do, up. Do me a favor. Put the vertical bar on the two ball at the bottom of the US. Now drop it down to the one minute. Yeah. <laughs> Got to anchor it. Where did the alignment happen with the uh, blue candlestick? That would be entry. So move your word, a horizontal line to that. It 
somewhere in there. Let's say at the top of the of the swing point. Go higher, a little bit higher. Your fractal break, yeah, right there. Okay. Now go back to your 15. This is what he's saying that your entry was somewhere in the middle of that tall bar. Yeah, because you went to a smaller Correct. yeah time frame. Okay. Now if I got out of the three ball, right? Which I won't, but let's say I got out of the three ball. I would have gotten out a long time before that. But if I got out at the end of the, I would have gotten out at the spike, basically at the end of that spike, that would have been my exit at the top of that bar. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. But let's say we waited for the three ball. And from there to the first horizontal line, how many pips is it? Thirty-two, right? Yeah. And then to the third horizontal line. Which one? The th uh, the second one, the third one. Sorry, yeah, no, one next to it. Yeah. That's a hundred pip trade on two lots. Yeah, yeah. That's the way I would trade. Not necessarily how you would trade, right? Yeah, yeah. You would probably get out at the beginning of the European session and then take another entry at the end, at, at the in the middle of the US. Session. So you, uh, you would sort it out into two trades. You're correct, right? And you would probably end up with the close to 100 pips, like 80 pips, 85 pips, mm -hmm. right? It's okay, you know. I mean, this that's what you're comfortable with. I'm just showing you how your entries. Uh, are refined, right? The first entry was in the Asian session, which a lot, a lot of people don't trade. You, you are at six o'clock in the in the evening. You can take that entry, you know, with confidence. Yeah, so with a five pip stop loss, and you know, go to sleep during the European session. You probably won't even get out because you're asleep. Yeah, yeah. Right? You come back in the U.S. session and say, "Oh crap! It went back thirty pips. Why the hell didn't I get out?" Yeah. And then you say you're in the middle of a two two wall retrace, and you just look for another entry. It just helps you out that way, right? Yeah. It's not like it would it be a gut wrenching decision for you because you're asleep during the draw drawdown. You know, to, to, to the retracement. There's no drawdown here, but through the retracement. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. I do. So these are some of the decisions that individual. Uh, people, uh, individual traders have to make based on where they're trading from, what time they're trading at. Yeah. And how they want to manage the trade. What the purpose of this video is to, to go from the four hour, look at your, uh, your, your direction from that, right? Uh, the point I want to emphasize is that the H8, each bar is eight hours long. Okay. So if you have a blue bar, with the with with the ball at the bottom, you have at least eight hours to play with for the play, for the trade to work out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if you're coming in the U.S. session, which would be the the third vertical line, right? Yeah. Okay, and you're seeing a blue bar. This is the word the hourly. Okay, so you have at least an hour of up 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 movement from that bar. Because your H8 is long, eight hours at least, right? It yeah. turned out it wasn't eight hours. It was, I don't know, in the middle of the eight hours somewhere, but it, you got at least three, four hours of up, upward movement and uh, you, you could have made your pips, whatever your goal is. The yeah. whole point is to look at the at the time frame you're looking at, look at the Osma, your reference Osma, and see what color it is and then anticipate a uh, certain amount of hours in that direction. You're just waiting for a setup to go in that direction at that point. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yep. Okay. So like if you're if you're trading on the H1, your reference is still the H8. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> There's eight one hour bars, right? Uh, yeah. So you're looking at one hour now and then when the one hour starts to turn red, you're out. Right. If you're trading the one hour, if you go yeah. to the 15 minute, it's your H3 that's the reference. 15 minute H3. Okay. Right here. Yeah. So on the H3, if, if when it turns blue, you have 
three is three hours or fifteen minutes is what how many twelve but twelve hours? Yeah. You anticipate twelve hours of movement. I mean, you're at the end of the U.S. session, so you obviously don't anticipate that. But uh, let's say at the U.S. session, I mean, the European session where it turned red. Let's say European session where the two ball is at the top. It turned red over there. How many bars was it red on the Osma on the H3? Uh, quite a few. How many? Probably about eighteen. Fifteen, twelve, okay. Yeah. So three hours is 12, 15 minute parts. Yes, that's about right. Well, I mean that red covered three hours, one three hour bar on a three hour time frame, which we don't have. Yeah. Okay. So 12, 15 minute bars is one three hour bar. Right. And then it flipped over again. You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, your three hours being reflected in 15 minute intervals. Right. So when the H3 turns red, that means you, you anticipate that moment to happen for a few 15 minute bars at least. Yeah. You get some bits out of it. So if you're anticipating a, a buy trade, either you sit on your hands or you come back an hour later and see what's going on. You don't have to sit in front of the computer. Yeah, revisit it or whatever. Right. Yeah. You can go get, get a cup of coffee and come players, back. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. That I mean, that's the whole purpose of having these multiple time frames on a single chart. So you can you can anticipate some of the movement. You already determined your direction. It's not matching on a direction. It's going sideways. It's in a range because the three A C is red and H A is blue. You already know you're in a range. Yeah. I mean, you can draw your box in there. And, and you know that till it breaks that box, you don't have a trade. If, you, if you're doing uh, breakout trades, you, you, that you don't have a trade. Right. So again, it, it all depends on the style. I know I'm talking this this video, which I shouldn't be. Uh, the style of the trader. Now, if they are breakout traders, they give you, the, give you how to draw your box. If you are anticipatory traders like I am based on this system, I already know my direction. I'm looking for, for retracements and taking additional entries. And I don't take more than three entries, but two to three entries, right? Original plus one plus one. Right, right. And that maximizes it. Now, there's a little trick to max maximizing your account, but it's a little risky. You can play an upside down pyramid or you can play a, a pyramid, right? Like. You can take six lots, three lots on the first one, two lots on the second lot one, and one lot on the third one. Got it. How long is your, how soon do you think your account is going to grow? Oh, very quickly. Yeah, because first of all, on the H4, you already determine your direction based on, on, on a weekly six, six ball and a, and a four hour three ball, giving you a direction with the H8 turning blue or being blue, right? Yeah. You're looking at at least one, maybe two uh, bars on the eight yeah. hour to be, that means two yeah. four hour bars or four right. four hour bars being blue, right? Hey, hey, hey Ken, go, go over to your weekly chart so you can follow, follow what he doesn't have weekly on his. I have a weekly chart. No, he, he, he needs to customize it, yeah. There's oh, so, so basically what he's saying is combining the four hour turnaround points along with the weekly turnaround points. Now where your vertical line is. And all the way to the right. All the way to the right, where your vertical line is. You have a weekly three ball. Yeah, you have a weekly three ball. Before that you had a weekly one ball. Go over to your one ball because that's that move down to your three ball. What do you want me to do? No, no, no. He's just explaining. Oh, okay. How to anticipate yeah. from a weekly going down. Yeah. 
you see that the weekly had a one ball saying that the market was wanted to turn around. So you, you, you basically trading the, the swing on your weekly, which is what is, it, what is it, uh, that six ball on your four hour. It's telling you that the weekly is turning around also. So when you go over to your four hour, go, go, um, go, um, no, go, go back to your weekly. All right, go over to that one ball. Draw to another to vertical your, line to the one ball. Yeah, another vertical line on the one ball. Anchor your, anchor your chart to back. Ah. Oh. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, there you go. Now, before you go anywhere, on that one ball, what do you see? Uh, well, a high. Okay. Oh, you don't have your colors on this, on the candlestick. So let's forget that. What else do you see? Look at the bottom, the Osmonds. Oh, it's still blue. Okay. So even though the one ball is indicating that there may be a turnaround point, your Osma is telling you that not, it's not ready to go yet. Not right? yet. They're here. No, no, no. Yeah, but, leave, yeah, leave, it, I, leave it there. Leave I don't think there. that's, I, I think that H8 is not representative to the weekly because it's a higher time frame. I think. Go, go to your settings on the H8. <laughs> it's on the H4. Yeah, it's it's not gonna. It's it's probably just gonna be a regular inputs. Yeah. So visualization. Take the H eight out. No, actually, let's change that. Go, uh, change that to a, a weekly instead of the H four. Okay, and leave it, and just say okay. Didn't change anything. Why? Go back. No, no, because the the H the H four is gonna is gonna give him whatever whatever it's gonna no, it's no, gonna no. represent. He changed the settings from H four to weekly and still didn't change anything. Why? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's, it's automatically the H four is automatically is gonna be equivalent to to the uh, W two already. Oh, okay. So wh wh whatever we have is set for, it's going to be a weekly times two. Yeah, times it's W two. So right it's going to be W two. It's not. It's not a. It's not actually a H eight. It's a W two. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, the, so, 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 just just go ahead and change it back to what you had it. So you don't yeah, lose change your, to H four. H four. Okay. So that H eight is actually a W two. It's not an H8 okay. on, on this time frame because okay. that's what it is. Okay. Anyway, but the point is that uh, even though the H8 is blue and there's a, a one ball at the top, if you drop it down to the H4, okay, yeah, there. You see, you see where the turnaround point is, where the H8 turns red? Yeah. Do you see the candlestick colors? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, is it ready to go short? No. Okay. Where where does it get ready to go short? Oh, not until over here. No, first red bar. First red huh? bar. The first red candlestick. Oh, okay. Right there. So move your vertical line over there. I know the H8 is blue there, but just move it over there. Right? Your H8 is not ready. Right. Which means you, you can't, you're, this is not a four hour trade. Right. Is it a one hour trade? Probably it's not because the H8 is blue.
not a one hour trade, but the H3 is red. So it's a 15 minute trade, go to the 15 minute. Okay, now you've got to find your red bars. Now you're in a two ball retracement. So you go to the end of the two ball retracement and find an alignment. And by that time the H8 turns red. Where's your alignment? That's not your alignment. Where everything is red. One more, yeah, right there. Okay, but the trick here is that you got a two ball with the N30 turning red two bars before. Two bars to the left. Move your vertical line two bars to the left. One, one bar to the right. Right there. Okay. The only thing that's not ready is the H1 and the H3, right? At the bottom. Go to the right. five minute chart. Uh, move, move your anchor. Yeah. yeah. Anchor. Now you're anticipating an entry on the five minute, is what I'm saying. The five minute is not going to be ready, but you're going to take an entry on the five minute when everything lines up. <coughs> okay. Where does it line up? Uh, where does everything line up on the five minute? One more bar. That's your entry. And if you want to refine it further, you can drop it to the one minute. What? You know, H8 is red, H3 is uh, turning red, right? H1 is red, everything is red. But what happened? Not enough data, probably. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. I'll go no, back to the left. You got to go to the four hour. What? What? It changed pair. <laughs> I think it changed pair, didn't it? Maybe. No, it's, it's no. no. Go, to, go to the weekly again. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it's, the, it's the first vertical line, uh, anchor it over there. Anchor it, anchor, anchor, anchor. Now drop it down to the five minute. There you go. And where did it line up? Let's, let's go to where it lined up. Move your vertical line to where it lined up. Come all the way, all the way to the right. So your red candlesticks are. One more, I mean, a couple more. One more, right there. That's your entry. Okay. And go to the 15 minutes. I just want to make sure we're in the right place. This one looked like the right pattern, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a different pair, but the same concept. It was later, but that's okay. Mark your entry on the five minute and your uh, stop loss. On the five minute? Yeah. Okay. Now where's the stop loss? Eight pips, that's good enough. Mark your stop loss. Horizontal line, yeah. Just above the box, there you go. Now go to the 15. Let's manage this trade. Okay. Where would you get out? On a two ball retrace. Right here. Okay, how many pips is that? 29. Okay, would you re-enter? Uh, maybe later, but 
Where would you re-enter if you re-enter? I, uh, I'd be out of the trade totally here. Yeah, you're out of the trade, but would you re-enter the trade? Uh, when it broke here. When it broke there. Whoa. Late entry. Okay. Well, no, it'd be over here that I'd enter. No? No, no you'd be entering at the bottom of the Europe, European session. Oh. That's a late entry. That's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you when you got that two ball at the top, you start looking at the five minute to see an alignment. <clears throat> so it's the line right there. That's your entry. Yeah, it is. But your retrace is not done, so it'll be two bars to the right. No, yeah, right there. Frankly, with a 15 minute thing, yeah, I would be looking for a one minute entry, but okay. I don't think you have enough data. Okay. To look at that. Right. Yeah, and then go back to the 15. Where's your exit? Yeah. Okay, how many clips is that? 20 some, 22. Okay, so that's 51 pips. Would you enter again? Uh, here. Okay, let's go there on the two ball. No, 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 vertical line, yeah. Drop it down to the five minute. Where's the oh. entry? Is it lined up? Uh, You're looking up to, up to H3 to line up, not H8. No. No, keep going. Right there. Mark it up. They're all on sync. Yeah, mark it up. Now leave that there, draw two new horizontal lines. Go back to your 15. <laughs> Where is your exit? How many clips is that? Thirteen pips. Yeah. So that's sixty-four pips and three tricks. Yeah, I see what you're doing here. Yeah. Okay, so that's basically the process. It gives you a direction. And you're just playing retracements on that direction. Two ball retracements. Yeah. Two ball, one ball, whatever, right? Yeah. If you're in the middle of a two ball retracement, you're not taking the one ball retracement. You're waiting for the two ball to finish. Okay. But if you're not in the middle of a two ball retracement, if it's a simple one ball retracement, you're just going to wait for the one ball to finish and take a trade. Okay. So the question that you asked in the chat, I think it was... Uh, day before yesterday or the day before that was the one minute, right? How do I take entries on the one minute? Right? Yeah. I it's can't the remember. exact same process, except if you're not dropping to the five minute, you're dropping to the one minute and following the same process. Right. It's just rules for the don't change. Yeah, rules don't it's, change. It's yeah, the just, time frame changes. Right. You just enter a uh, one minute, five minute entry. Correct. 
but you're really playing the larger. Correct. Yeah. Are there any questions on this? No. Um, very enlightening, though. You showed me just now how to grow the account. Okay. Now, if it was me, the way I would be playing it, I would be I would have three lots at the top, two lots on the second one, and one lot on the third trade. Pyramid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. the reason I didn't ask you to take out the uh, the lines is on the first trade. Um, on the two ball, right? Yeah. In the middle of the Asian and the uh, European session. Yeah. That was uh, 20 some pips, right? 29 pips or something? Yeah. Uh, was it 29? I can't, I think so, yeah. Okay, 29 times three is uh, 81. Yeah. The second one was uh, 22 pips times two is 44. That's 125. And the third one was uh, 13 pips. So I got 150 pips out of these three trades on a total move off, uh, count, uh, count the pips from the two ball at the top on the left to the yellow ball. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, how many pips is there from there to the three ball? 50 pips. So on a 50 pip move, I got 150 pips. Got it. Now you tell me why people are struggling with the with getting pips out of the out of the out of the pairs. Yeah. So it's like squeezing blood out of the stone for most people. Yeah, you're right. Have I said anything or has have we said anything here that's complicated? Oh no, not really. No. Yet people are, are confused are frustrated. And I can tell you why they're frustrated, but I, I don't want to be too blunt. I, I don't have a problem with blunt. <laughs> oh, it's not pointed at you. It's just in general. Uh, no, I know. I know. I don't. But yeah, I get that. It's, it's the uh, psychology. I mean, when I when I started, uh, I've been through these gyrations with, just like all you guys, OK? Uh, yeah. different systems, different rules, different entry points, different exit rules, blah, blah, blah. One system after another, but my first system rules don't go away out of my head when I try the second system. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when the price starts moving against me, the market maker is very expert at that. We say, oh, shoot, these rules are not working. I should have worked back to the first set of rules. Yeah, I've been there. And and then it's pretty soon you tried five systems and you said, which set of rules apply? And you start mixing and matching and start losing on trades. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon because you're confused when to get in, when to get out, that kind of thing. So your entry is late, exit is early or too late. Yeah. And then you said, ah, this system doesn't work. Well, if you're not following the rules, I mean, this system is very simple, but if you're not following the rules, I can guarantee you your account is going to lose. And it's not the system at that point; it's your 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 head, where your head is at. Got it. I agree. Yeah, and I've shown this process multiple times. I think I showed this process the first time for a month ago. The four hour, fifteen yeah. minute, one minute. Mm -hmm. Nobody's following it. Len is the only one who puts a four hour ball in the five minute and, and is following it in, in a general sense because he's looking at the four hour balls, taking a direction from that on the five minute and taking it straight. So he's modified, which is okay, to what, what I was saying to his needs. And he, he's, I think he's successful. I, I, he doesn't post any trades, so I have no idea whether he's successful or not. He's um, a very quiet guy. Yeah, I'm sure Santiago has it. We talk to him all the time. Yeah, but if you don't apply the process as it's explained, or if you don't understand how to look at the, because we're telling you how to analyze the direction. How many people tell you how to analyze the direction? 
they said, do draw turn lines, draw fibs, do this, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're telling you in a very simple way on the four hour chart, how to look at directions. And then once you, you're determined, you have determined what your direction is, it's child's play to play it on the lower time frames. Yeah, your bias is already set. That's all. The yep. key point in trading is determining the direction. Agree. If you haven't determined the direction, you're going to lose. You're going to go up and down, up and down. You're going to get sliced and dice, sliced and dice, sliced and dice. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah. Look at this pound dollar in the be in between, right? Mm. In the between of, of the of the screen right now. Between yeah. the European session and the U.S. session, there's a there's a ranging box. Yeah. Which way would you trade if you didn't know what the direction was? No, you, you would trade you, down, you would trade up. You know, you say, what the heck is going on here? It keeps going up and down, up and down. I'm going to go short, I'm going to go long. Yeah, chopped, chopped up. And pretty soon you're, you're so stressed out. Revenge trading comes in. Yeah, and you, yeah. Said you oh, get frustrated. Emotion. Yes. Whereas if you already knew that you were going going down, you're just taking the two top ball, two balls in the top, the retracements, with the seven pips stop loss. The risk is managed. At that point, is when, when do you when do you take the profits? Yeah, that's up to the trader. You want ten pips out of it, take ten pips. You want fifteen out of it, take fifteen. You, you don't get but five, take five. You know, wherever you get jumpy. I agree. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, is, are there any questions on the process? No, not at this moment. Is there something else you would like to discuss? No, no. I appreciate the time you guys have taken. Are you sure you don't it? want to discuss? Are you sure you don't want to go through one of the other pairs on your own and see how you do? Teach us the system. Take the lines out, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stay quiet. You're gonna explain the system to me. Okay, so I wanna look at the eight hour. Because I'm on the uh, H8 because I'm on the four hour, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So let's do that. If you do that, you may not have enough data. So just oh, just okay, okay. Um, you may want to do just the last two ball. Okay. Just to be safe, because so you'll have one minute data, five minute data. I agree. I agree. Okay, so we're on the four hour. We have <clears throat> okay, so my bias says because of the H8, we're on the four hour. So I want to look for up trades. Or buy trades, right? Mm -hmm. So, what does a six ball mean? It's a weekly, uh, well, it's a weekly three ball and also a three ball on the four hour. Okay. What does that mean for me? It means it's probably the low or very well could be the low. Right. So, turning point both on the weekly and the four hour. Right. Turning point. So you got two time frames matched, giving you reversal, a right? A four a weekly and four hour. Correct. So what does the okay. H eight mean? Turn blue mean? Uh, we could have up to eight hours of movement going up. Okay. So we boxed in the time. We have at least eight hours. Okay. And we boxed in a direction, right? Yeah. What time, what time is this? This is midnight. So it's uh, five p.m on 11th of November, Eastern. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. What do you do next? Uh, I'll go drop down to the one hour. Okay. Um, so one hour, I'm going to look at the age three. Age three is blue. Now, this is historical data. Would the age three be blue there? What's that? Would A3 be blue there? This is historical, right? So historical always eat things. Maybe that not. Be. Maybe it'd be right in here. Next one. Okay, I've got a blue candle mm -hmm. and a blue H3. Correct. And H8 just for a kicker. Correct. Um, so what I could do is go down to. Now, this is four hours later from where we started on the four hours. So we got another four hours of up going because we said we'll have eight hours of movement. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go to my 15 minute. Uh, actually, that looks like a good entry. So do you take your entry on the 15 minute? What's your entry to stop loss? What's the risk? Here? Well, probably would be. Let's see. It's 15, 16, 16 pips. So it's outside the range. So would you consider dropping it to a lower time frame? Yeah. It's more like seven and a half pips there. Okay. Or even here would be 11 pips. pips. All right. So draw your entry and stop loss. Let me uh, do this real quick so I don't get all messed up in the head. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I just made myself work. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Uh, Why did you take an 11, 11 pit stop loss in sort of eight? I'll just put it here. So we got about a seven and a half. Okay. Right here. Now what? Now you're taking our entry. Now what? Okay. So where would you manage your trade? Oh. Uh, okay, where's your exit? Uh, let's see, on the 15 minute um, H3, did that turn red there? Well, it's, it probably was still blue. Yeah. Turned red three hours later when it, when it had the thrust down. But yeah, that's your exit because you put your stop loss to the two ball low. Right here? No, where the two ball is at the on that bar low. The low of that bar. Yeah, right there. That's what do you Yeah. Would you re enter? Well, before you we move on, oh yeah. But for when does this appear? It when appears does, immediately. Does it? Yes. What are the two appear? ball was probably somewhere over there, yeah. And then what it kept moving up. But the but low I, was never taken out. Okay, so okay. So if it would have went down to here, I would have probably that would have been your exit. Exited. Yeah. Okay, that's what's been going on in my head. Okay, great. Okay. Let's go continue on. Okay, so I'm still in it. No, uh, you're, you're out for 40 pips, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Would you re-enter? Um, First of all, is your is your direction still long? Yeah, my H8. H8 is there, and your three ball hasn't appeared yet. 
right? You're still in the three ball. Three balls, not till much later, right. yeah. So, so where would your entry be? Well, right here. Mm -mm. No, no. Draw a vertical line on the two ball. Oh, it would be here. No, just draw a vertical line on the two ball. Okay. Drop it down to the five. Where does it line up? That'd be over here. One more. Okay, where would your stop loss be? Oh no, that's not even an entry, sorry. 15 minutes already. So it'll be more to your right. One more. Right there. Okay. What's your entry and what's your risk? Ah, too much. No, your risk is uh, uh, three bars to four. Yeah. At 12. Okay, entry is here, stops there. Mm -hmm. Where's your exit? Um, do, do, 15, do, do, do. Minutes. 15 minutes. Oh, you go up to this, okay. Uh, 15 minutes is with my trade management. Okay. So it's at the low of the one ball. How there? many is that? Fifty-three, fifty-three pips. Ninety-three pips. Did you have any stress trading this? Not really. I understand. Were you was your heart palpitating when the when the price was moving away from the two ball at the bottom of the European session? That I'm getting here? Uh, not, no, at the bottom. Oh, here. Yeah, when the price moved away from there, you're going, oh Jesus, getting away from me. Did your heart palp palpitate? I'm yeah. going to be late. I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. I need to enter now. Not really, because you don't have, you don't have to go. You have to go I, here. No, I understand that. But old old habits die hard. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This price is rising, and I'm not in the trade. Fear of missing out. I need to be in this trade now. And yeah. You take a wrong entry, and then you get taken out. Yeah. This is what people do. This is the bad okay. habit that they can't get rid of. Forcing trades, right? If you had taken a trade anywhere before that, it would be forcing the trade because first of all, the risk wasn't being managed. Yeah, I'm guilty. Second of all, your alignment wasn't there, which means your momentum had not caught up to the price action, right? Yeah. Third yeah. of all, your account management is, 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 is crappy because of your risk management. And you didn't need to do any of that. Got it. And you still made 50 pips out of it. Now, I can bet you people are going to go back to look at it and say, well, I missed out on 20 pips. Gee, you just finished making 93 pips. What are you crying about? <sighs> this you, is the frustrating part. Sure. Sure. Yeah, it's, everybody wants to be a trader, but they don't want to be a logical trader. Got it. Want to be an emotional trader. And I am that way too. It's not like, you know, I'm any different from any of you. But I've had to learn how to step back if my risk my risk is more than 15 pips. And that saved me more than, you know, more times than I can count. In the last two months, it has saved me so many times. Now, is there any guarantee that it won't come and take your stuff out? Well, if it does, no, but you're not going to lose a lot. <laughs> there you go. That's my point. Risk management. You're not right. going to blow your account up. Right. I mean, are, you, are you going to cry over losing a trade? But you can re-entry later. Your direction is still long. 
Yeah. He's still going to make up the trade. Okay, so, what well, you've, you've armed me with today is I can go back after, I can go back and practice this mm -hmm. and practice it and practice it. And uh, wow, that's pretty cool. Like I said, the, the key to this entire process is the direction from the four hour. And understanding what H10, H8, H3 mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you're anticipating rather than reacting to an entry. And when you're anticipating, you 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 have time to think about your risk management. You plan it out. You can yeah. plan your day out. Yeah. yeah but yeah. you don't have an emotional training. You're not reacting. Yeah. Correct. On the second trade, yes, it moved away from the low, but the market makers set the direction after going sideways for four bars. They're still collecting contracts. Right in here. Yeah. And that's where the H3 and the H8 didn't match. Right. So this is, although it went up, this is a high probability. Correct. Or higher probability. Yeah, it broke the fractal at that point, technically, right? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's, but uh, this system, you don't have to think about that. It, you're it not gets guessing. you in the best entry with minimum risk. You're not guessing. Yes. Um, okay. I, I don't know if you know this, but this has been really rewarding to me. I can't thank you enough. This is opening up my eyes uh, a lot. I mean, you will still trade the way you trade with Hakanashi's and AO, because that's what you're used to. Well, it, it yeah. It takes time for you to transition. But I don't mean I can't have this on my other monitor. No, no, I, I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying. Oh, no, it's great. To get it fully ingrained and you feel comfortable with it, you'll have to take a few trades. Look yeah. at it on uh, both systems to see where you were entered and how it reacted and would have been similar to trade here. You know, what you can do is take two trades, one on your, your system that you're trading now and one on this system, right? Small, small lots. I don't know if you're trading live or not, but. Oh yeah, small, I am. Yeah. Okay, so, so take smaller lots. Or maybe take a large lot on, on the on the system you're trading now and a small lot of this one. Right? Yeah. And then manage them and see. Uh, it's going to be difficult because you have two different sets of rules. Uh, to see, you know, if you have any stress with either one. Because whichever one is stressful, you don't need to use. Whether it be this system or your, your AO system. Well, in, in all so, honesty, Trading the HA, the Hikanashi, is more stressful because you're not, you're, you're almost like you mentioned a long time ago, entering uh, blindly. Mm -hmm. And what this system is showing me, like, no, 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 no. You can look at your HA all you want, but this is how you trade. Mm -hmm. because you're not, you're not trading blindly. You're trading structure, right? And that's why I've been warming up to what you and Santiago shared with us. Is I've no, look at, I, I was thinking before the, uh, we got together, I think, Ken, if you're, uh, if you made multi millions of dollars in the Forex and you're a proven winner, then you're allowed to show people your strategy, but you haven't, you've been trading, I'm talking to myself here, you've been trading for 10 years or more. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're not successful. Mm -hmm. You're a break-even trader. You win trades, yeah. You win your trades. I've showed them, but mm -hmm. you win, you lose trades, mm -hmm. and the losing trades are really emotional trades. Correct. Where what you're sharing just now, there's nothing emotional about it. Right. And that's well, there why, is, but it's not to the extent that you lose thirty pips. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was a trader like that when I was doing swing trading. My stops were like 50 pips away. Yeah, I've always tried to keep them below 20. 
but well, yeah. I mean, I have smaller locks. I, I adjusted my locks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Where I would go to sleep and the next day I find out it's taken out. So yeah. I, I didn't know which direction. I was just playing fifths or trend yeah. lines, you know. Yeah. And they don't mean it. They don't mean a hill of beans if you don't know the direction from the higher time frames. Yeah. And I wasn't looking at the higher time frames. I would look at the H4, but I'm trading the H1 and that's too close. I should have been looking at the daily or the weekly. Right. Nobody right. teaches you that. No. No. The reason we went from H4 to 15 is because the 15 minute is highly correlated to the H4. Right. Okay. And if you're doing the daily, then the H1 is highly correlated to the daily. And if you're doing the H4, then the weekly is highly correlated to the weekly. That's why we have the weekly balls on the H4 and the daily balls on the H1. Right. And the four hour balls on the H15, M15. And then the M15 balls are the one and the five because they are correlated. So the price correlation is being reflected by the higher, like the six balls basically are telling you huh. where the higher, higher time, the correlated time frame is going. Okay. Roger. Yeah, got it. And then the yellow balls, the three balls are telling you where the current time frame is in relation to the higher time frame momentum. So when, yep. the, when the time frame is matched between the 15 and the uh, minute and the four hour, I'm going from a four hour three ball to every three, uh, 15 minute three ball. And then I can play the retracement from three ball down to another three ball and then take the trade up again. Till a, a three ball for the four hour shows up at the top. Then I, my, my direction switches. Right. That's the advantage of having the four hour three ball on the 15 minute. Yeah. You, you understand where I'm coming from now? I do, I do, yes. Now on this chart, you're, uh, we are not seeing the, the four hour two balls and one ball. For, I guess this movement didn't have it, or if you scroll to the right on your price chart, there will be some. But there aren't that many two balls and one ball on the four hour chart. I mean, it's a four hour chart. Right, right. So it's safer to play the three ball on the four hour direction to the three ball at the top or the bottom, whichever direction the three ball, four hour three ball is. Yeah. And, and just leave the trade alone. Why mess with it? The reason I trade the, the retracer and the add ons is I'm looking for the three ball. That's all I'm doing. If I see a two ball, I know it's a retracement. Yeah, it can be a deep retracement. Yeah, sure. But if I'm break even at that, I can always get back in. Yeah, I wasted a few a, a day or two, but so what? Yeah. The whole point is to grow the account. Right. You're so mad. if you look at the yellow ball at the top, if you draw a vertical through that. Yeah, I just put a vertical line on it. I know immediately I'm going against the four hour, right? Yeah. I'm not taking any add-ons on a counter trend trade. Okay? Right, right. So I'm gonna trade, trade where the cyan arrow is. That's where, where I start, going short. Right, everything's lined up, right? Yep. And I wait for a three wall to show up. And there's my exit. How many pips is that? 10 pips, 15 pips, whatever. 32. 30 pips. 32, yeah. And then now I've got a three ball at the bottom. I'm in sync to the, uh, with the four hour ball. Guess what? Here comes my add ons. Take an entry, one ball retrace, add on. Two ball add on, uh, retracement, add on. And that's it. Okay, now I just wait for the three wall. So yeah. how many is it to the uh, two ball retracement from there? Yeah. 
50 pips. How many is it to the one ball retracement? Uh, From the top. From the three, no, to the one ball on the left before the two ball retracement. It'll be about 60 pips, 60, 70 pips. 70 pips, uh, so that's 140, that's 190 pips. And how much is it from three ball to three ball? Uh, 780 pips. Yeah. That's 240. 430 pips on a 70 pip movement. Yeah. What the hell am I trading for? Yeah. And I'm being profane. Yeah. Religiously profane. But this is a frustrating part. I mean, the system, if you understand the direction of the higher time frame, you can grow your account so quickly when you're in sync. But, you know, we are not used to thinking that way because we are trying to trade as a, uh, what is it called? Scalper. In and out, in and out, in and out. And all I'm saying is do the swing trading. Agree. If you make 430 pips in one day and your goal is 30 pips a day, you've covered three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Go do whatever you want with the rest of your life. Yeah. I know you want, but you know, now you got a two ball retracement at the top on the four hour where the three ball is. So now you're playing a two ball retracement from two ball there to the two ball at the bottom on a four hour. And we haven't reached the two ball at the bottom. So you're going two ball to yellow ball and that's insane. Then when the yellow wall shows up at the top, you, uh, you go another two wall to the yellow wall. That's, you're sinking a four hour time frame with your 15 minute and trading in that direction. Don't we say the, go, the higher go over time? To, to, yeah, go, go over to your four hour. So that basically, so you're basically you're trading that two ball to the downside, so you get another two ball. Here? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, when you go back to your 15 minute. Go back to your 15 minute chart. That circle in the middle of that yellow ball, that's a two ball on your four hour. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now from so there that, to the yellow ball, how many pips is it? Not from there. It'll be in the US session where the red where it turns red. Take it from the top of the bar. Yeah. From there to the three ball. 40 pips. Yeah. Why are we struggling to make 20, 20 pips a day? Yeah, I know. Huh? Because we're trying to go <laughs> short in that chop where, where, the, where the candles are still blue. All this garbage. Yeah. yeah. Nothing's lined up either, you know. Right. So uh, that's why it's it's choppy. Yeah, three is yeah. pulling it down. Eight hours. Oh, you got ants in your room. What's that? Huh? Huh. Oh. It's I mean, if you draw a box from the from the yellow ball to the to the one ball, the yellow ball at the top, yeah, to the first one ball. No, yeah, right there. That's your price at the price range that you're playing in. The market maker is playing in. And he's chopping everybody up to calculate his contracts. That's all he's doing. Yeah. If you're a pure technical trader, not a swing trader like I'm talking about, you shouldn't be trading in that box. Leave it alone. Yeah. Sit on your hands, you know, because this market is undecided. And you see what they did. They broke out and they went right back into it. And then they broke out again. Yeah. So they got people to go short, place, it, place their stops, and took the stops out. Got their contracts, came back right down. This 
this is a game they play all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. And I'll tell you one thing. You look at the move that went from the two ball to the three ball at the top. It's a very steep move, right? Yeah, here? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think the market was going to continue after that? It has to rest. Yeah, can't just keep going. Right. Logically, technically, we all know that. But we still try to trade it long. Got to go up. So you go long here and you're just getting all messed up. And then yeah. boom. Yeah. And then boom the other way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. But with this system, you don't need these. I mean, it's good to know the boxes, but you really don't need it because you're, you're trading a four-hour uh, direction on a 15-minute chart. And your risk is managed. Yeah. So you may get lose one or two trades in a row, but the third trade is going to go back and give you your money back. You just got to have the confidence in it. Look at the Euro NZD. I mean, I, I know you don't need to look at it anymore because you, you got the gist of the system. But since we're going to put this one out there, let's look at the Euro NZD. The what? Euro NZD. The third one from the top on your yeah. oh no. you're on New Zealand yeah okay sorry my hearing isn't good sorry <laughs> I'm getting there too uh, I'm 73 and I'm doing okay but there's draw the vertical in. line from the four hour three at the at the very uh, yeah right there four hour three wall okay. No, no, just do it on the four hours. He will take all the others out. Oh, okay. Yeah, move the line to the three ball. All right, so on the four hour, we see a three ball and a weekly two ball. Okay. Got it. You know, you're going to get movement to the downside. Your H8 has turned already. Yeah. Okay. Yep. If you go to the 15 minute chart. There you go. Okay, now take an entry after the uh, retracement of the one ball. Just to be safe. Over here? No, no. Oh, one ball. Yeah. yeah okay. There. Okay. From there to the yellow ball on the right side, how many pips is it? Roughly 26 20. pips. Yeah. On a sideways market. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're doing a retracement in the euro session from three wall to three wall, right? Uh huh. How many pips is that? Here? Mm -hmm. Forty 41 pips. All right. Just move your charts, chart to the right. Now from that three wall at the top, keep going to the three wall at the bottom. Ninety-five pips, right? Yeah. You have another entry after the two-ball retracement. Here. Mm -hmm. So you enter here somewhere, and then you got a re-entry right in here after the two-ball. That, no, that's my add-on. So your add-on. I yeah. said re-entry. I misspoke. Yeah. Uh, add-on. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Roughly seventy pips. One hundred sixty-eight, and then after the one-ball retracement. Forty pips, that's it. So that's yeah. two hundred and ten pips on a hundred hundred pip movement. Oh, yeah, and that's without pyramiding. Yeah. If I wow. pyramided, it would be like uh, two and a half to five hundred pips. Yeah. One day. Three, two, and one, right? Yeah. 
what I mean, you can do the pyramiding any any number. You yeah, know. any combination. Okay. Yeah, uh, five hundred pips, one day, one pair, <laughs> alignment for the four hour and the fifteen minute. That was it. Oh man, that's the way this system is set up. It's simple. All the Osmas that are doing is refining your entry. That's all they're doing. Yeah, yeah. The real key on this is trend, direction. Using the balls. The balls, the candlestick colors, you know. Yeah. And you're using two time frames. If you look at the H1 chart, we got three time frames of that. Right? We have uh, the one hour, four hour, and daily. Okay, so if you look at the where the uh, aqua ball is on the left, on the left, but left of the vertical line. So you have the aqua ball at the top. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's three time frames aligning: the one hour, the four hour, and the daily. Okay. Which way is the price going now? It's going down. <laughs> Yeah. Is there any doubt about it? Not really. I mean, and it confirms with your H8 mm -hmm. right there. The H8 turned when you got the two ball at the bottom. A couple of bars, but within that. Yeah. And then when it got to the top, it turned red again. Wow. 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 And again here. Now again here. So if you don't have the patience to sit in front of the freaking chart, create the one hour. You can check it every hour. Yeah. You won't make uh, 200 pips. Where you can make 150. That's yeah. still uh, a full week's work in one day. Well, personally, I've sat in front of the charts for about four hours. And well, I'm saying any style of trader, any trader that wishes to have, not have their patience tested. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Any time frame they can trade. If you want to trade the four hour, I can give you a trip. Go back to the four hour. You have a weekly two ball telling to go down, right? So Go, go scroll your art chart to the right, left. Six ball. The six ball at the bottom is a weekly three ball and a four hour three ball. Which way are you going? Up. Why? Do I even have to look at anything else to tell me which to declare the direction is? We look at the H8 to confirm. H8 is blue. Mm -hmm. Off you go. How many pips is that from that bar close to the one ball at the top? One ball close. Yeah, like that. 190. And uh, six, four hour. That's a day. Yeah. And one day, you made 190 pips. It took one entry, just <laughs> every four hours. Wow. Yep. I know we went over this in the last audio, uh, last video also, which the audio would screwed up. But if you take the one ball to one ball, how many pips is that? One no. Ball? Yeah, from, from there. No, the bottom of that bar. The bottom? The bottom of the next bar, the white bar, yeah. To the bottom of the one ball. 91. In nine, so day and a half, another 90 pips. Yeah. Now from there to the top of the two wall, <sighs> to the close of the two wall. 114 I, pips in another day. Yeah. 114 plus 90 is 200 plus 100, another 190 is 400 pips in a week. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> and you, and you, you took three trades on a four hour chart Based on your weekly direction, knowing yeah. where the retracements are, checking the chart every four hours. 
going to sleep in a, you know, peacefully. Yeah. And again, we're having a problem with this. I don't know. I I don't really have a problem. I'm just no, trying to refine. I'm, I'm talking with it in general. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Don't don't take things personal here. Ken. No, I no, I don't. I just letting you know that I'm sort of like a sponge lately. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, yeah. uh, go to the fifteen minute chart. Sure. And we make a change here. That's the fifteen minute. Go to the one minute. Sorry. Okay. Uh, go to, go to your indicator list. Hey guys, and, I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna step away for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Uh, go to the snatcher at the top. Where's your first snatcher? Yeah, that one. Visualization. Okay. Put it on the M1 and M5 also. Repeat that, please. Click off the M1 and M5 also. Yeah. Just check off. And M yeah, no, no, check it. Oh, check, check it. Yeah. And say okay. 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 So now you got the one minute balls with a 15 minute direction. This is pure scalping now. Okay. The 15 uh, minute six ball is telling you to go long, right? Oh, yeah. Where's your first uh, blue, first alignment with the blue candlestick? No, no, with the blue candlestick. Go to your right, right there, right? But this is late, it's not a fresh cross or a saddle. Right? Uh -huh. So that's not an entry. Now you go to the saddle, where the saddle is. One more, a couple more bars. Yeah, right there. From there to the three ball, how many pips is that? Seven pips. Yeah. Now from that three ball to the next three ball, how many pips is that? 16, nine pips, 16 pips. Now the three ball, yeah, three ball to three ball. 15. Another 15. So that's 31, right? Now three wall to three wall. Forty-two, right? Yeah. Three wall to three wall. Twenty-five. Sixty-seven. Three wall to three wall. Uh, 11, 78, three yeah. wall to three wall. Ninety six, three wall to three wall. Okay, so one hundred and six pips. Let's uh -huh. stop there. What did we do here? Oh, you did a three ball, a three ball. Three wall to three wall. I can take <laughs> add-ons when it matches a 15-minute trend and not take add-ons on the on the retracements. I can multiply my pips. Right? Now, yeah. on this last up up uh, bound from three wall to three wall, the H1 was our line. So I wouldn't take that trade. Uh -huh. You know, so you can filter that out, but you have your 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 trend from the 15 minute on a scalping and you're just going three ball to three ball when it, whenever it gets aligned. Yeah. Is that simple or not? Yeah. So the U US session did not have a trade because there was no alignment either way, yeah. right? L let's go back to the European session. Was there alignment where we went three ball to three ball? Yeah, on the long side there was alignment. And even on the short side of the beginning of the Euro, Euro session, there was a line. I, 50 pips in a European session on three trades with alignment. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 
Right, also like your stock losses were going to get taken out on any of these trades. Right. So when I wrote in the chat, you have to know the type of trader you are, whether you're a scalper or switch trader or a position trader. What that really implied is you have to know the time frame that is setting your trend. Yeah. <clears throat> scalper yeah. is a 15 minute, swing is a four, position is a weekly. Agree. So those are your trend setting time frames. From that trend setting time frame, you know which way you're going to go on your on your execution time frame. So the weekly execution is a four hour management on the day. Yeah. The the four hour execution on the 15 management on the one. The scalp is the uh, 15 is the trend, one is the execution, five is the magic. That's it. Yeah. I think I wrote that, that down in my rules also. Yeah. I believe you did. Santiago, you have anything to say to that before we end the session? If there are no more questions. No. Uh, what 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 did you have on your one? What did you put on the one minute? I wasn't here when you put that. I just put the one minute ball and smack it. Oh, okay. So it's three ball, three ball. Yeah. Okay, so the six is the one minute. Six is the fifteen minute. 15. Three is the one minute. Three is the one. Okay. Yeah. Six well, is always the higher time. Frame. Yeah. So on the fifteen minute, the six would be the four hour. Yeah, six is the four hour. Okay. Well, I'm glad I have this. I'm going to save it <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I like I like the four hour, one hour, fifteen minute, or the four hour. Yeah. So this right here. That's the four hour. It's the four hour. Yeah, four hour three ball. Yes. And if I was on the four hour, let's do that. That's I'll the, weekly. the weekly. And a three ball on the four weekly. hour. Yeah. Yeah. Three Correct. okay, three ball on a four hour and weekly. Correct. Wow. And this, what would this be? That's the two ball on the two weekly. Two ball on the weekly. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's hard to do that with the way the. I mean, I can't offset it. I would have liked to have it on the top of the three ball, but there's yeah. no offset in the settings. Got you. Have the code. I read you there. I understand. So these one balls, are they basically fractals? They're what? Are they basically fractals? Yes. Okay. I mean, they look like them, but I didn't want to say something that wasn't true. Okay. Okay, I'm keeping this. I'm not going to throw it away. This is uh, extremely, extremely valuable. And... Uh, Okay, great. And, and and if you're not sure what the ball what the balls mean, you put a line there and just go to your hard time frame. Yeah. yeah. To verify until, until, until you'll you figure it out that way. Yeah. Yeah. You figure it out that way. So, yeah. So right you, on. So you know, so so you know, you see a yellow ball, and you see a magenta ball, and you're like, okay, what is that? Well, you know, the the the, the ball in the middle is going to be a higher time frame. So when you go down to your your four hour, you'll know exactly what kind of ball it is. But you, okay. you, you, you have your, you usually have your four hour chart up anyway. So you, you'll know what it is right away. Yeah, um, exactly. Okay. So let me, okay, here's, oh no, we're over here. Okay. Let me do this. <clears throat> Um, and I agree with you, Rajiv, don't mix them, but here's what we've been dealing with. And let me just, well, anyway, here's, okay. Let me get rid of this. So here is a four hour. And I usually show my one hour also, but I could use the four hour, one hour, and then use this on my other monitor if I chose to, correct? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, as long as you understand the correlation 
between yeah. the four hour balls and the one hour balls and the 15 minute balls. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not gonna bore you guys, but I'm going to use this. Uh, matter of fact, let me, right now, save this template. And I'm going to put it right here. All right. Well, that's great. And uh, what do you have at the bottom? Oh, it's just a stupid ass part of the language. It's huh? uh, sometimes I, I'm Irish. Sometimes I get rough in my language and I'm huh. a Christian. So I try to be careful. In any case, it's nothing. It's a call to energy beam. They don't make it anymore. Okay. And it's priority. And I don't really even need it. My main thing is uh, the direction. Yeah. The angle. One o'clock. One o'clock. Well. You got to close up. Yeah. On the four hour mainly. Uh, okay, it's, this is, it's five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I see it, I look at my one hour, assuming I have a one hour up there, but I don't now, but I'll just do this. Messed that up, didn't I? Let me go back to my one hour, four hour. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I know my four hour is straight at one o'clock. My one hour is one o'clock. And then what I've been doing is on my other monitor, I had this, I made it a template. I called it the naked asthma. Mm -hmm. Why I call it that, I don't know, but I'm gonna go to it. It won't have the same thing, but and my naked asthma is on the 15 minute. And I use my AO and if I go back to the, I don't know where it was. I'm not going to even try to find it, but uh, more than likely if I go to right in here, I have an entry mm -hmm. and then my stop loss right up in here and it would have been okay. Mm -hmm. But uh I'm not trying to reinvent anything. I know that it's important to me to be respectful to you guys because you know what you're talking about. Um, and I've learned a lot. So that's what I've been doing. I'm not saying it's the right way to do things. So <clears throat> if I go to, I have my nav. Let's go to, uh, I have a few pairs here. Let's just do this so I can get it. And I'll put a third one on here. You know, I don't have that symbol changer. Can you put that in the chat somewhere? Uh, it costs money. Oh, it costs money. Okay. Yeah, it's in market. Um, it's called a navigator. It's 50 bucks, I think. Okay. Um, what did I do here? I want to go to the phone. Oh, I'm all messed up. Anyway, I, I messed myself up. Let's see, go to the one hour. Okay. And, um, all this is, is, uh, a currency thing that I don't really need. I just added it and I'm playing with it. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know why. Let's just get rid of all this. Get rid of the nav. Let's get rid of this. It's a bunch of junk anyway. Okay. All I want really is, this is a whole moving average and it has colors. No big deal. And the high can actually candles. So four hour, one hour, 
And then if I go here um, to uh, what I call the naked Osmo, why I call it that, I don't know. Okay, let's go to the Euro Aussie. Because I know Friday there is a move. Okay, here's the four hour, here's the one hour. Get rid of this sucker. But I have my three balls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so here's the impulsive on the AO on the mm -hmm. 15 minute. But you can see clearly it's coming off a three ball in the four hour. Mm -hmm. Let me do this. Sorry. So this is a two ball retracement on the one hour, but it's coming off over here. There we go. So it's a three ball on the one hour and the four hour, same settings. But in any case, uh, here's the trade Friday. <laughs> so I sort of put my little deal to it. It's not really, it's not Kurt system so much. It's just the hike and ashy and the hull uh, moving average. But I don't even need that. Mainly what I need is agreement. But I'm still using the three balls and the two balls on the four so, hour and so where, the one hour. Where would your entry be? When the Osmo turns turns red, uh, there is no Osmo. Right in here. This is the, the AO. AO. I mean the AO. When the AO turns red, right in here. And then what I do? Let's 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 just put a line here. I'm not giving lessons here. I'm I'm trying to be humble here. You guys are the right in here somewhere. Okay, fine. And then. So I'm looking right in here. I know my four hour and my one hour are pointed at five o'clock. <clears throat> Let's go to five minute. <clears throat> so if I wanted to, um, this popped up, it's a five minute. But in any case, I could put a, even on the five minute, that's 11 pips right here, right? If I enter here, so it's 11 pips, and then on down. Uh, so that's sort of what I've been doing. I've been using your guy, well, your system along with a different, looking at a three charge, four hour, one hour. And uh, why I showed you, I don't know, because really what you've showed I don't need all this. Um, I can go to one time frame. Like, let's go to what I made right here. Same trade was right in here, more than likely. Friday. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of it's this is telling you the same thing. So really, if you used uh, this alone, you know, and like you've showed over here, we're on the 15 minutes. So this is a, well, probably here. Uh, Let's get all up. I lost myself. Anyway, I don't want to bore you guys. But here's a nice entry right in here. That was at uh, 1530. Okay. Let's go back to the uh, 1530 right in here. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
there's a cue ball. So right here is 15.30. So right in here. So it's just chill, it, different ways of skinning the cat, I guess. But so anyway, that's all I got. Yeah, you 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 have to like what you has said. You have to decide how you're gonna evaluate your market and and what system you're gonna use. Well, I'm using this okay. system as far as the candles, you know. Mm -hmm. And but go ahead, I I over talked to you. I didn't mean to. No, no, it's is. I guess as long as the system complements each other. Well, uh, what yeah. I just shared, it does. But then again, Rajiv has made so many good points this morning. I am the trader that reacts and I get chopped up. So this is why I really have a high interest in these balls but, that you've been go, teaching. Go, go back to the to the to the, uh, the other chart you had, the entry. No, no, the the um, the one with the uh, with the I can man, actually with the L. No, yeah, the one with the L. Oh, with the L. Okay. <clears throat> well, here's the, before I do that. Here's the two ball right here, Correct. and it's at fifteen hundred. Okay, so I'll go to the. Fifteen hundred. So right in here would be, and then I'm looking at the AO. I don't necessarily have to wait, but I know that. Uh, and looking at my one hour and my four hour. Uh, well, because the, the 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 AO changed red a while back, so that that, that part would be an uh, entry where you'd be looking at to maybe yeah. get in. Uh, go to your left. No, 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 no. Uh, it's the same spot we use that. Those two two bars uh, over. Okay. What do you What would you like me to do? No, I'm I'm looking where your AO was turning red and then it turned blue, then it turned red. That All it, right, it, in it, here. Yeah, yeah. Before that, the bar before that, it was red. Yeah. No, no. Go to your right. Go to your right. It's to your right. No, no, no. The other way. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, right there. No, go to your I'm left. I'm sorry. One, go to the left, to the left. Right there, it's red. W yeah. Would you enter at that point? I mean, you, you didn't see nothing on the right. Your Osma is red. Would you enter at that point? I probably wouldn't. I'd probably wait. And you, you would have a two ball right there. The two ball just moved over. Uh, oh, okay. The, the the two ball was right where the one ball was at, to your left. M move to your left. No, yeah, no, to your right, ne next to your one ball, right there. Your two ball was probably there, to your oh, right. Right here. Yeah, the peak. Right. Oh, move over to your right. Two two more bars to your right. Right here. Uh, two more balls to your right. Right there, so your two ball was probably <coughs> uh, if the, if that made a higher high, it probably was there. If not, then your two ball came in after it broke that high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you was, you already had red. Your question your your question would be if that would be an entry. My question is, would that would be an entry for you since everything was lined up to go short? Uh in all honesty, I, pro I probably wouldn't have. Okay. So what 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 constitutes an entry for you? If if you haven't seen the chart before before anything, uh, you, would, would you wait for your Osma to be red a couple of bars in, into the move? Well, this is an AO. You, I would have I mean, waited. For, yeah. I would have waited for a confirmation on, uh, but it don't always have to be like if I could. Uh, let me change this to uh, another pair. I want to show you something. Uh, like right here, 
Uh, I've got a better pair than that. Uh, let me do this. Not that I ever trade this pair. I don't really use this pair, but I want to show you something. Right in here, mm -hmm. you got an AO with red. It's resting. Of course. Right? But the deal is, um, of, I'm not going to do it now. I'm wa I'll waste your time. But the one hour and four hour is definitely moving up. So I would consider entering in here somewhere, especially on this break right in here for 70 pips. So it don't have to be the right color on the AO. I don't really need the AO. I use it more for eye candy along with my one hour and four hour. So I'm not, the AO is not dictating because it's like where has said, it's very lagging. Oh, okay. But, uh, so it's, so it's your, you're basing your entries on the breaks of, of structure or? Well, I, I look at these, I use them. Here's a break, you know, here's a break, there's a break. Mm -hmm. um, and usually where there's a saddle on the AO, there's a fractal break. But again, uh, I don't share this with anybody because I the last thing I want to do to anybody, not you guys, I'm not going to confuse you guys. You guys are strong, but I'm talking about people that are a little bit uh, apt to be confused. I won't mention names. I'm not going to show them this because it's going to bring more uh angst and i don't want to do that that's not my personality okay so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to incorporate and i can do this i can do the same thing let's see let's look at the time uh let's look at 11 10 and 8 call it 8 30 11 10 at 8 30 okay now what do i want to do 11 10 and 8 30 i want to go here Okay, 11, 10 at 8.30, okay, right in, here we are. It's the same trade. Mm -hmm. So really, I don't need to be doing what I've been doing, especially after today. I can look at this. I can look at my one hour and four hour on my other monitor, but this is 8.30. It's the same as what I just showed you on the AO. So, really even if i put a stop here that's a large stop probably maybe here or even here for seven pips eight pips so i'm learning and you today has been eye-opening to me i was just sharing with you what i've been doing but now i don't really need to so much because i have this it's on the 15 minute now that doesn't mean I can't can't go down to the five minute, one minute, and do my entry. Correct. So I'm um, I'm thinking out loud here, <laughs> you know, and I, well, I'm, I mean, you, you, I'm exposing you, a lot of my ignorance, but no, I'm not no, afraid. But, but, I'm not afraid to do that because I'm more into learning than no, being the, proud. The, <laughs> the, the thing is, you 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 use what you most feel comfortable with. Yeah. Right. And if you if you feel like using this system makes a difference and it makes it easier for you, then you use that. If you're used to doing something else and you're getting the same results, because there's no sense of, you know, there's there's no sense of mixing or, or trying to switch if what you're doing is already successful. Yeah. You know so well, you, I... you 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 have to decide. You know. Yeah. Am, am I going to use this system? And go ahead and, and and learn it, and 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 since I have the same entries, or just continue doing what you're doing, and you know, but try not to mix and match, you know, because you you you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, and it's just you're just gonna hurt yourself as far as uh, should I enter here? Well, this one is telling me to enter early. This one is telling me to wait. Uh, what what should I do? Well, you know? I, I definitely I mean, I agree. I mean, when, when, when it's clear, like mud, when everything's in, in trend, you get a signal, and no matter what, what a uh, 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 system you use, when market is trending, everything is lining up. You get early signals on on, 
on any system. So the question is, when it's not lining up, when the market is going sideways, what kind of signals are you getting? Are the, is, the, is the system telling you to stay out the market or not? Agree. Is the, is the system telling you to get in or not? Yeah. You know, when it's trending, every system looks looks perfect. It's when it's not trending, is the system keeping you out of the, the trades or not? Well, yeah. I'm, I, I want to use this as my uh, entry system, you know, so. I mean, the other one I showed you, I was just showing you to show you what I, what What's I've been up to, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stick with it like this. I'd rather use this because of price action. Now I can do it with this one. Uh, uh, you know, I got price action on here, but in all honesty, um, Oops. Yeah. No, I prefer I prefer this one here. Um, yeah, because they'll keep me out of trouble. You know, and also, you know, using this on the uh, four hour. So if I go to, there it is. Yeah, so anyway, but I, I, I appreciate what you've done, you know. And if anything, it'll, all this has helped my trading says the same old FSS routine. I mean, the, the, the key thing is being able to identify your direction and when to actually start trading in that direction. Once you have that, you, yeah. you, you, you're ahead of the game. Yeah. And everything else is just about entry. Or when, when are you actually going to answer? And when, when are you available to answer? Yeah, risk That's management and all that. Yeah, exactly. Because if you're in the London session, you may not have a trade, but in the U.S. session, you may have a trade. So, yeah, know, avail availability is also play a key. Uh, if you're trading session to session, or you yeah. only have a certain session you can trade in. Well, here I don't. I, I know you guys, at least for G, plays in Euro, New Zealand, and pound dollar or pound yen. Correct. But my thinking is, I have. Oh, this isn't. This isn't what I have. Oh, I see what I did. Uh, let me do this. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I have uh, one, two, three euros, mm -hmm. and then uh, three pounds. I took out the New Zealand. I figured the Aussie is good enough for a commodity pair. And I have the Aussie up here and I have the New Zealand with the Euro. Euro. But then I have two dollar pairs once in a while, the dollars and on the same side. So they're majors. And once in a while, I don't often play this this pair, but occasionally it would show a good move. Hey, Rajiv, do you have anything else you want to add to? Or... No. Yeah. Uh... I think uh, I, I put Rajiv to play uh, to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I know I was snoring back there. I? <laughs> I don't blame you. I I'd sleep during me too. <laughs> I'd make myself fall asleep, Rajiv. No problem. <laughs> yeah, but um, I guess we can end this session. If you have any other questions, no, you know, no. I hope I didn't you know. uh, offend anybody. Uh, mm -hmm. I do appreciate what uh, you spent the time with on me. I. I consider it a privilege, and I sincerely mean that. Well, you're welcome, man. Anytime. Okay, then. Uh, I will convert this and put this on YouTube once okay. uh, settled, and uh, that's it. I mean, this explains in detail the process. I don't know what else uh, we can show. Yeah. No, you, well, you... The, the... The, the, the whole thing we're trying to do is, is, is systemize the process so it could be straight across the board. 
there's no no difference to everything but it's just do the same thing over and over again same process yeah uh, it makes things simpler and easier and uh, with no confusion so it's just straight across the board where we start and where we end yep uh, and all the pairs you just keep 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 repeating the same process over and over again yep if somewhere down the process is is going is is going against the trend then most likely that's not a pair that that you're going to be trading. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, once everything starts aligning, then you, you just got to follow and wait for the alignment. Yeah, the only problem with this is the trading will be so boring that people will start looking for a new system to get excited about. Yeah, because you 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 have to you have to have more patience. That's the key thing. One yeah. of the things that that that's been frustrating for me before is that I didn't have the patience. Uh -huh. So I get myself into too much trouble trading. But patience is part of is part of trading. It's, it's, yeah. it's part of the things you have to have because you have to you have to time your trades. You have to you have to, you have to have uh, you know there's only specific times of the market moves in, in the day, and you have to time that with the trend, uh, whatever the trend is at that moment. Yep. And when it's, when it doesn't coincide, you have to know how to when not to be in the market. You know, you don't. You don't only need to know when to be in the market. You need to know when not to be in it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's old saying. Like, sometimes the best trade is no trade. Exactly. Yeah. And it, time after time, the patience has always paid off. Yeah. So uh, we have traders here who have to be in a trade, and uh, they get jittery when they're not in a trade. Well, that's how I used to be. I'd open up my computer, open up my charts. I gotta make a trade. I gotta make a trade, and then I force the trade, and I lose, and I lose, and I lose, and I lose. I've lost as many as ten trades in a row. Right. Over in the past, you know. I mean, I, I find it so frustrating that people. I'm just. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I know there's a word for it, but. Uh, the fear of missing out is the biggest thing that the market makers trade on. You're gonna miss it. On. Yeah, you're gonna miss it. Yeah, and they they'll take it to a point where you, you start getting afraid to miss out, and then they'll take it the other way. And then come and back. You give you give in, in, and you enter, and you yeah. get. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. I'm one of them. I'm guilty. I mean, we've all been there. It's not yeah. that it's unique to somebody else, but the system. Right gives you the direction and the patience to wait for your trade. But internally, the trader has to develop that patience on their own. Right. It's very hard. It's very hard to give, give up the, the fear of missing out. You know, because well, you're trying to fight for every freaking pick and you don't have to. I think it's the greed, but you know, the emotion of the greed, you know, it's yeah, which is a key. What I keep saying: Do you have a trading plan? Do you have a account yeah. management plan? Do you have risk management? Do you, all of these go into being a successful trader. Right. If you journal your trades properly, then you go, can go back in history and see, uh, you know, where you made mistakes. Uh, did you follow right. the rules? Did you follow the plan? Did you follow the, what? What did he do that you lost? Right. Some trades you can't help. You say, I did everything right, but the market market just took me out. But there'll be majority of the trades that you lose on is because either you didn't follow the trade uh, plan or you didn't manage your risk properly. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I, I don't care which system you use. If you, if you don't use those things, you're not yeah. trading as a trader, you're trading as an investor. There's a big difference. And if you're trading as an investor, that's where the fear of missing out and emotional trading comes in. So you're trying to do, you know, make your money quickly. There's no. Hey, 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 guys! I have to uh, step out because I have to head out somewhere. No, that's okay. We're ending the session. Yeah. Uh, okay. All okay. right, guys. Uh, I will. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. All Thank right. you. All right. You're welcome.